Um, now, it is time for the real stream. This is, this world is an illusion, Exile. Pizza time. <laughs> What could I possibly mean by that? Chat, there has not been much going on in the last two days, as it happens. However, today is pizza day, which means that instead of queuing up a line of things to discuss that may be contemporarily relevant and interesting or politically fascinating, um, I have instead queued up about two hours of pizza content that we will watch together. Today is National Pizza Day. And uh, let's just start with an old standby favorite that everyone likes, pizza-related content. This fucking guy uh, eating a pizza like it's a cookie. Let's begin. Hey there, YouTube. Uh, Stu here. Back again with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing California Pizza Kitchen um, Limited Edition Spicy Chipotle Chicken. It's limited edition, Crispy chat. thin crust. Uh, says it right there. I hope you got in on this when it was uh, a thing. As you can see. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Will that focus? Is that going to focus for me? Uh, focus. Focus. Crispy thin. Here we crust. go. Foc focus. <laughs> focus. 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 I, I can see it, Sue. Okay, yeah, it's focused. Uh, grilled white meat chicken, roasted corn, black beans. Poblano peppers, fire roasted red and yellow peppers, Kilantro, kil kil maz mozzarella, parmes parmesan, os Asiago, and Ro Romano cheeses, and a spicy chipotle lime sauce on a crispy thin crust. This frozen pizza has a better cheese selection than most Americans, Chad. Did you know that? I don't like spicy foods, so I... In, in, in Canada, you can just go to the store and buy a frozen pizza and get a better cheese eating experience than all of America. I'm Every really part of America. There's no part of America that doesn't apply to. This isn't too spicy. Uh, my dad got the wrong kind. Um, I asked him for the barbecue chicken pizza. He got spicy chipotle, but it's okay. He told me to just bite the bullet, as they say. <laughs> uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh... So I've already kind of cracked this open for convenience sake. Uh, we can just pull the rest of this. Damn it, it ripped. It <laughs> ripped. Uh, hang on. I think I think Stu is trying to keep the box. He wanted to keep the box, but now that it's ripped, he's just going to pull this fucker out. There's no point. There's no point playing nice anymore. Stu's going to get this cheddar. Sorry, this Rom Romana chat. This box is no longer collectible. What the heck? This doesn't look anything like the picture. It's not cooked yet. This doesn't look anything like the picture. Yeah, it does. It's just not this cooked This one's yet, going Stu. straight in the garbage. What? No, just kidding. Oh uh, God, I'm going to cook you it. You really uh, had me there. I'm not one to waste food. So I'll come back with the review. See you guys. Hey, YouTube. Uh, back again. Um, so now we're doing the review portion. We got the pizza right here. First of all, it um it doesn't look anything like the one on the box. It does. It looks good. It still looks pretty good, but it doesn't look like the one on the box. So uh, it's being minus critical, one point chat. for that. Um, my mom would not help me cut it, so I'm I'm just gonna have to uh eat it eat it like this. Uh, I I don't know how to cut it. Um, His mom wouldn't so cut it for him, so I can't do it. It's got it's some chicken, him. some good stuff on there. Uh, I'm just gonna take a bite. Hell yeah. 
Who among us hasn't eaten a pizza like a cookie? Well, he's going in for a fourth bite, Chad. This is a good sign. This pizza must be quality. Damn, he's rabbing this. He doesn't know how to use utensils to cut food, so he doesn't get to eat very often unless his mom helps him. So this is like the first food that he's been able to consume in a while. Damn, dude. He was really masticating that. I appreciate that the microphone is right next to his mouth. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, chat. I was worried it would be too spicy, but I'd give it a... 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10. Oh my god, I was going to say an 8 out of 10. And I thought I was being generous, but 10 out of 10. He loves it. Perfect. I'll leave it there, chat. I actually have like 8 more pizza tabs, so let's continue. Let's be expeditious about this. Um, This is Chris Chan. He's taunting somebody named Christopher Paul Whitney. I will explain who that is. I promise this is actually interesting. This is another fine clip. day. This is him when he was just starting Tom Girl mode. So this is a 2011. Um, he was growing his hair out for the first time because he wanted to. Uh, he wanted to become that tomboy GF you guys all talk about. So this is a tomboy GF, and uh, in the early stages, not not quite not quite there yet, but he's getting there. Uh, so he's going to be confronting Christopher Paul Whitney. For revealing, because I have not heard anything from. Alec Benson Larry, also known as Christopher, and the due date has been reached. It is time for total revelation. There he is. Alec Benson Leary. His real name is Christopher Paul Fat Man Whitney. Let's let's take him aside from this. I have never, ever in my life, in the years that I've done this stream talked about fat man but it's now time to talk about fat man in the early days of the kiwi farms when it was still called the quickie forums there was a popular side lol cow named christopher paul whitney and he would do streams eating pizza in a bathtub and his father would uh was present in these streams and his father was also fat there is to this day a emoticon on the forum that nobody seems to understand where, where it came from or what it is. If you type in all uh, all caps, oh yeah, like A-U-G-H space yeah, you get a picture of Christopher Paul Whitney saying, oh yeah. No, unless you've been there since like 2013 at least, you will never, you have no fucking idea. Nobody on the forum knows what the fuck this emote is for. Now... Uh, instead of playing this video, I will come back to the Chris Chan eating a pizza, obviously. But it's time to play some Fat Man. Ah, oh, yeah, folks. Eating pizza and drinking a bod. That's right, folks. I'm, I'm getting fat and becoming an alcoholic, too. Aussie Dossie. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I forgot about Aussie Dossie. That was something he said a lot, too. Aussie. Oh, yeah, folks. Aussie Dossie. Mmm. Coming up a hog and getting fatter too. Awesome, awesome. And um, I'm not paying my credit for my computer or next box and shit. And uh, when the credit card company calls, I might tell them that I'm mental as hell and I'm going to send them to collections because there's, there's a fat chance for ever seeing anything. Uh, and um, this was before fetish right now, content was a thing. This is still pure. <laughs> this is literally just a man enjoying a pizza and a bud. And the videos you can find of him are all this low quality because he's streaming to Stickam. Do you guys, unless you're old, you don't even know what Stickam is. This is all like 14 year old videos of, of uh, Fat Man on, on Stickam streams and shit. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, as you know, I stopped. I just started right there because I was honestly one last time where I was telling him I'm coming to alcohol too. He didn't like it even stuff it. 
Oh yeah, you guys have to, you guys have to troll PPP. Someone, if you next stream, somebody, okay, do this. Somebody who's already a pay pig and whose money is already tainted by the devil, send him in a super chat, at, trying to get him to say, "Oh yeah, folks, Aussie Dossy," and then clip this and post it in the Math Internet thread because I want to hear it. Okay, this has to be, this has to be, uh, uh puppeted and completed. <laughs> He's dead by now. Nobody. I don't remember what happened uh, to him. He disappeared at some point. He might be dead. That's a possibility. Cherish, folks. Cherish to know where hope in our life and self destructing and giving up. Cheers, folks. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to that. Self destruction and giving up. 2024. Tink. Do I have a thing I can tink? I'll be up on the 1080 underwear concert with this against my better judgment, folks. It's definitely not a good judgment, right, folks? He's still alive, right, really? Up, Dude, he can tell him to come back. Fat man now has. Fat, listen, listen. I don't know where he's from. There's a non-zero chance he might be from Canada. There's a chance that you can replace Andy Worski with PPP or uh, with with Fat Man, and then it can be PPP and Fat Man together. <laughs> and they, they can just be like, "Oh yeah, folks, the Ethan Ralph fucked up yet again." Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's quality. Anyways, let's go back to, to Chris. From Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Age 36. Unemployed and on welfare. His Chris says as he's unemployed and on welfare. ...include hot tubbing, video games, retirement, Xbox, folk music, theft and fraud, milk, comics, and dip. And... Eating online. He's responsible for Asperchu, Asperpedia, and all mockings and slanders associated, and copyright infringement upon my own. Dude, at this time, eating online was considered like a weird thing to do. Now it's just like a career choice that people have. It wasn't always like that though. Donations and whatnot. Yeah, he's that big. All right, let's eat this pizza. Where is he? Okay. Wait, this is another person who eats pizza like a cookie. We have this. We have Stu. I mean, Stu is obviously Moggin, Christian. Christian's got this shitty little personal microwavable pizza. My boy Stu operates an oven all by himself. He doesn't even need his mom to operate the oven for him. Uh, but he's able to cook the pizza and eat it, despite it being a full-size pizza. Christian can't cut his pizza and can't even operate the oven. He has to use a microwave. The oven's probably full of shit. It's probably like a storage space for his mom, so he can't use it. And he has to contend with microwavable pizza. Mm. I have a theory that there is a direct, a literal direct correlation between how one eats and how politely one eats and how intelligent someone is. I think the dumber and more brain damaged you are, the more you eat like an animal and the more politely you eat and more courteously you eat, especially in the presence of others, the higher intelligence you are. Like you have to have an IQ above like 120 in order to be spatially cognizant of the fact other people might be annoyed by how you eat and the biggest fucking retards chew with their mouth open. You know, there's like that poster behind him of like a, a lady in like big uh in underwear. And he would hang these posters up to remind people of him being straight or to remind himself to be straight. And I've always wondered why people put like like nude images as like their desktop backgrounds or as posters. And now I wonder if this is actually like a common thing. It, it, Cause it sounds silly if Chris says it. I have to remind myself to stay straight with Sailor Moon posters. But now I wonder if this is like a thing other people have to do. Like if you're like a retard, you have to like do pinups and be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not gay. Maybe Rakeda should do that. Someone should go into his house and, and pin up a bunch of Sailor Moon posters to remind him that he's not gay. You think that'll work? You think that Rakeda would look at these posters and be like, wait a second, sucking dick is gay. <laughs> it's, it's a possibility. It's a, it's, there's a non-zero chance that this will work. Someone should take the risk. Mm. 
Ew, it's like folding it up. All right, thank you. Oh my God. Um, he did, he did, he did wait, instant replay. Instant replay. His eyes are rolling back like he's like Chantal. It's like <laughs> he's doing the shark bite thing. Um, um, um. Excellent. Thanks, Chris. I already watched that. All right. Here is Foodie Beauty eating pizza. Hi. For six minutes straight. Let's put this up to two eggs. Where's the pizza? pizza oh, here's the pizza. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so she's just going to eat the pizza now. We could sit here and play Chantal eating pizza for six minutes straight, chat. However, I will instead torment you. I will instead torment you and show you her putting ketchup on pizza instead. I love ketchup on pizza. Don't judge me. Judge me, actually, if you want to, but I love it. Don't knock it till you try it. When I went... Mmm. You know, she's masticating really loudly. I look skinny today. Huh. Wait, what? Yeah. I look skinny today. Yeah, I do. Anyways! Okay, wait. I have another clip of Chantal putting pizza, or ketchup on pizza. Let's watch, chat. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm gonna put this one on mute, I guess. Ships. They call them ships here. It's so funny. Come on. Okay, Come on. ketchup so far guys, on the french fries. Ah, not nah, mm, haram. Mm. 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 <laughs> Two pizzas oh and fries. God. She's That's hungry. Awful, Thank you. Okay. Stop okay, the huh? chat. No oh, more. She needs a more ketchup one. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like a Burger King sauce, I that guess. Like animal fries. Well, she look. She's made like poutine. You guys like poutine, right? You guys liked it when poutine was talking about the history of Russia. Well, here's poutine sure. made in a styrofoam tin. Excellent. Next up. <laughs> Kay's cooking. Can Kay make a pizza? Hi Let's find people, out. I'm back cooking again. And this time I'm Damn, going she's... to make a pizza from scratch. It's really interesting comparing her like from seven years ago when this thing was made. Um compared to now. Like, hold on, let me find this off stream real quick. I don't show Kay's cooking anymore because she's a DMCA goblin. But um I will show just a second of it. 19 hours ago, a different egg fried rice. Okay. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today the difference seven years makes. The energy and life in her just gone. Oh, wait, fuck. I fucked up. I, I canceled the wrong thing. Hold up. What? How did I fuck this up? Hold up, hold up. This is important. Um, oh, there we go. Making a pizza. Okay. Now we can listen to her. Oh. Hi, people. I'm back cooking again. Hi, people. And I'm back cooking again. And today... Her smile and optimism. Gone. And this time, I'm going to make a pizza from scratch. Okay, I'll just skip and head right, to her uh, As you can see, I've got all the ingredients seems to be the I'm high point of the video. Now I'm going to mix that. She's an alcoholic. As you can see, I've made... My theory is that she's a severe alcoholic. Uh, that would explain the shaky hands, the weird way of talking, like, I be I'm back cooking again. It just makes sense if you assume that she's a drunk constantly. The door. I don't know if you can see it. But you have to, you don't have to keep kneading it in. Kneading it is when you just keep folding it in. You might need a bit of extra flour just to keep it going. Yeah, that's good. That's good, that works. And before I put the dough, which is you've seen me doing, into the tray, 
I have greased it. I don't know if you can see, but it's all nice and greased. Now I am going to put the dough. It's greased with margarine, and I'll reiterate that margarine has different chemical properties than butter or other kinds of cooking grease. So the, she has one of the main things that she's done over her career is continually use margarine instead of butter because her son prefers that for some reason. Uh, disregarding the different cooking properties of, of margarine. In the tray, and then I'm going to spread it out. As you can see, the uh, base I've made ain't big enough for the pan, sorry, for the dish I'm putting it in. But what I'm putting on there is some tomato puree. the base yeah that's pretty even that's an even spread right there you can barely even see the dough through the as you can see through the pasta uh, i've used a full tube of tomato puree okay i'm trying to think it's not usual just to use straight out of the tube tomato tom tomato puree like paste on a pizza i'm pretty sure you're supposed to make an actual sauce and not just squeeze the tube out onto the pizza possibly uh, so it should turn out okay uh, apart from the bits that are showing these are what i'm putting on Pepperoni, you can get any version of these from any supermarket you want. Okay, so no cheese. I mean, okay, listen, here's the secret, right, chat? Here's a secret. Many people, they don't tell you this. They don't tell you this in school, but it's true. Cheese is better on top because it, it cooks in all the oils and stuff from the um, and flavors of the, the toppings into the pizza. They don't teach you this in school. This is actually forbidden knowledge. Only the Jews know how to do this. Uh, so she could be putting cheese on top, which is accurate. Uh, but I don't think she'll actually put... I, I'm going to make a guess that she doesn't put any cheese on this. Yeah. You dropped them off the floor. That could have been disastrous. And hopefully I'm going to have enough to go all the way along okay now, as you can see moment the of pepperoni truth is all over Mo moment of truth chat is there going to be cheese will there be cheese and i am going to slice some cheese up no 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 she is not just putting straight cheddar slices on top of this I didn't actually watch this before I queued it up. I have no idea what's about to happen. I see a block of suspiciously cheddar looking cheese back there. It might not be what I think it is. And as you know, my son can't have cheese. No, those are like craft single so slices. So I'm making him cheeseless. So. Bro. I'm just gonna put it all on this side. Bro, this is this is straight up ruining my fucking pizza day when I'm looking at it. It would right be now. easier for you to grate it. So she's doing half no cheese for her son, so like, whatever, and then half like craft ch cheddar cheese on the other, like blocked, cheese, eh? not even not even like shredded so it melts evenly, just like blocks of fucking cheddar cheese. I am bong felt it. This is a sacrilege to me. Now you've got cheeseless pizza. It's like it doesn't even cover half of it. <laughs> What the fuck's the point? It's not even gonna melt. Cheese, pepperoni, pizza. Right now I'm gonna put it in the oven. It needs to go in for 10 to 15 minutes. But I'm gonna make sure that it's done. So I'm putting mine on for 15 minutes. So I set my clock for 15. And it's, then we'll see what it comes out like. Now I'm going to, the beeper has just gone off, now I'm going to have a look in the oven and see if it's, please turn out. <laughs> it sounds like she lives in an industrial house, like a, like a store. 
she <laughs> she lives in like like British Home Depot, and this is one of the display stovetops. And she like comes out of the warehouse with uh, and just has like all she has available to her are like the the little um cooking like some of the stuff they keep for like truckers and shit in the 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 microwavable aisle so she just has like blocks of cheddar cheese and like prepared pepperoni and some flour and that's like all she has and she just (laughs) prepares on this one stove in the corner of the display and they just have no idea how it keeps getting dirty (laughs) who the fuck's been cooking pizza on the display stove again uh oh Look at that! Wow. <laughs> to say it didn't start out right. You know, there was an episode of that. There was an episode of King of the Hill where that guy with the guitar that's like a recurring celebrity guest on the show was like haunting like the Home Depot or whatever. What is the name of that of the guy? Chuck Banjoni. Chuck Banjoni lives in the, the Home Depot near Arlen, Texas. That's that's a plot of a show. It's, uh, I didn't even, made... Sorry, I was so distracted by thinking about Chuck Mangione, I completely forgot to look at the fucking Holocaust in front of me. Um, uh, that's pretty bad. And because it's, it did melt thoroughly because I guess the temperature was hot because all the, the uh, pepperoni is like scorched. But it just like melted into a pool. Like the, the surface is so uneven that all the cheese just like drenched into like a cheese soup at the in the middle. That's amazing. Look for it. I better see a taste test of this. And now oh, I'm look, and there, look, you can see it bubbling. Like, there's so much grease from that nasty-ass cheddar cheese and all the the salami that there's just, like, a pool of grease in the middle, which is, like, the lowest point in the surface that all the cheese and grease has coagulated into. And it's just, like, bubbling. Look like, for it. It's, like, wet. It's, like, drenched. And now I'm going to cut it. And the crust is, like, completely soft. Okay. I gotta see. I gotta see. What's his face eat this shit? Peppers. peppers. Yeah, that's a proper cut. Pepperoni. She should have gotten. She doesn't even have like a um. Oh my god, she has a curved, curved end knife. I was wondering how is she using a knife to cut like that, and I realized that the end of the knife is curved. She can't get a. She can't get a pointed knife because she lives in the United Kingdom, and then she she can't get a license for a pointed knife because she's an alcoholic, and they won't approve her for a pointed knife cooking license. <laughs> there we are, all cut. That's one side. I think it were gonna be one thing. Oh, oh my God! Please, please tell me that we get to see her son eating that slice of pizza like a cookie off the edge of the plate, like Chris and Stu both did. Please tell me that we're gonna. This is gonna be a through line in all of these videos. <laughs> And that's the other case. And that's how you make cheeseless pizza, cheese and pepperoni pizza. Well, I hope you like oh, what you see. Oh, you bitch. Where's my taste if test? You do, keep you doing fucking that. coward. You didn't even take a bite out of it. You denied me my through line. What a, what a fucking scam. What a fucking scam this is. There's more. King Cobra JFS. The pizza whore. I think this is a this is this is him eating a Domino's pizza. I think he can't cook. <laughs> let's let's be real here. If he tried to use a multi ingredient pizza and cook it himself, uh, it would end in disaster. So he just gets a pizza, whatever. That's respectable. What is up, fellow YouTubers? This is an old video, by the way, which is why he doesn't sound like such a depressed alcoholic. Uh, if anybody is in need of intervention of of all the locales that are like tolerable. Um, King Cobes is probably at the top of the list. It's your sexy goth bad boy, King Cobra JFS. Back at you with another video. Uh, so in my last live stream, my fans were asking about my PayPal link. They wanted to donate money because they love my videos. So after they donated it, I decided to order a pizza. 
Oh, great. Another Domino's food review. Okay, shut up. Domino's makes good pizza. But this time I ordered Pizza Hut. What? Switching up the game. It, no, that's just it. Domino's does make good pizza. However, I wanted to try something different for a change. The pizza I have ordered is a create your own pizza, of course. Now, Pizza Hut is rather expensive, so, <laughs> but they do make good pizza. I will say that, like, the order came to $36.49. Right now, it says my pizza is out for delivery, so, so that's just going to add to that flavor, man. Ooh, wee. Hello? Pizza, sir. Sweet, man, thanks. Hell yeah, that was cool. Yo, you too. The Pizza Hut delivery girl was kind of cute. God damn. Just God damn. If I could have afforded to leave a tip, believe me, I would have. But I'm broke as a motherfucker right now. But yeah, that Pizza Hut delivery girl was super professional. She told me, hey, enjoy your pizza. I'm like, thanks, I will. So that's what's up. Yeah, my, uh, my neighbor next door, he was like, hey man, pizza's here. I'm like, fucking A. Yeah. We got some soda pop to wash down our pizza. Okay. Is he gonna eat it like a cookie? What's up? I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it in mm. the in the All scanner. Right, YouTube, we got ourselves a pizza review. <laughs> Boom. Pizza Hut, the Pizza Hut, with one of them, one of America's finest melanated gentlemen holding a leather ball or oval egg shaped thing. Let's see what happens. Show that logo. I do the same thing, to be honest. Take a look at this delicious Pizza Hut pizza. Doesn't that just look amazing? Ew! Holy fuck! I was not expecting that. Look at it. You know, the back of my shirt is rather offensive. I am a huge Cradle of Filth fan, but when I had seen that... It was a female pizza driver, especially. I'm like, uh... Tried to sign for the receipts without showing the back. Just, you know... I don't need no stinking plate for this. Watch out. Oh my god, he is going to eat it sliced. Wonderful. Mm. Even though I paid $36.49 for this entire order... Mm. Worth every penny, dude. You don't even know right now. You don't even freaking know right now, dude. Pardon my French, but that's fucking good pizza. Oh, yeah, cheese bowl. Oh my god, if you didn't catch that, hold up. Oh, dude. Hold on. Sorry, let me make it resuffer through this. Thank you to the fans. Where is the. Oh, this. Oh. But that's fucking good pizza. Oh, yeah, cheese pool. Cheese pool. Wait. <laughs> no, zero pool. Zero elasticity. Zero real mozzarella cheese in that. Just instantly breaks in half. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Thank you to the fans who donated on my last live stream. I didn't ask for it. People asked me. They were like, what's your PayPal? And I'm like, boop, there's the link. Not a sponsor. Now, here's the thing of it, YouTube. I like pizza. Same. Subscribe for more. Hit that, I would have left a tip. Hit that subscribe before. button, chat, if you want to see more pizza content. Ordered it, to be quite honest, that pizza delivery girl was super sweet and very professional. So there you he's go. He's an abductor. He well, shout out to my neighbor. I forget, he's like... not a sicko. He's not a sicko. We don't have to worry about that. All right. This is a legitimate review of a Vegemite pizza down in Aussie Dossie. Um, I just want to listen. Da, 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 skip da, da, to this part. Da, okay, so this ex requires some explanation. If you are American and you hear the name Domino's, you will assume that Domino's Pizza is like the shittiest pizza ever. It's, it's a chain that somehow manages to stay open despite the fact that it sucks. Australian Domino's 
is like a completely different world. It is some of the best pizza on cheap. You just go down and they have some of the best interface. Like when you're standing at the store, there's like an interface showing exactly where your pizza is in the, in the preparation process. And it's just, it's just a wonderful experience to go down to the, the Domino's and get a cheeky, a cheeky pizza. Right. Um, and it's like five bucks for like a personal pizza, five Australian dollars, so like fucking nothing to get like a, 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 a normal pizza. Um, and in Ukraine, they're also really good. I ate the, at the Domino's in Odessa and their, their pizza was good too. Um, so it's just, it's not the same as in the U S In the U S I think Domino's is like the shittiest fucking pizza. Oh God. Looks like a rat's run across it and with diarrhea or something. <laughs> well, look at the size of that thing. Where's the pepperoni and all the salads and all the other onions and everything else that should be on this for $7.95? It looks horrible. But looks can be deceiving. Except when it comes to Domino's pizza. <laughs> anyway, if you don't know what Vegemite is and you've been living under a rock for the last oh, 50, 60 years, Vegemite is I love a how thick, black, talk. salty spread made from leftover brewer's yeast. The yeast is combined with salt, malt, extract, the B vitamins, thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, and folate, as well as vegetable extracts, giving Vegemite the unique flavor that Australians love so much. Uh, unless you're one of those Australians who doesn't love it. <laughs> anyway, uh... Uh, Vegemite is bad. I'm going to go out on that. I've had it. I've had it both in the U.S. because uh, my work was Australian and they sent me like a care package from Australia, which included Vegemite. And at the time, this was before the Kiwi Farms. So I was with uh, my grandparents, my mom, when I got this <clears throat> and they all tried it and none of them liked it. Uh, but I was told by the Australians I ate it wrong because I had just I, I spread it like peanut butter. I took like a big thick glob of it and I spread it over. Um, bread and, and tried it apparently you're supposed to put it on toast only and you're supposed to thread spread it very thin if you do like a big glob of it it'll take uh it'll be really bad uh which i i, I thought it was terrible um but it has like a very very savory flavor to it it's kind of like even though it's entirely uh vegetarian um the way that i've had it explained to me is that it's like spreading um like bullion or something it's just like a salty uh complex flavor to it that uh is very overwhelming so you have to be careful with it which is why spreading it on fucking pizza seems like a terrible idea <laughs> it doesn't sound like it would be good at all um this is from two years ago i think they probably pulled this but i want to see them taste it actually see what this is uh, let's see if it's got some stretchy cheese on it now i got the classic crust because that's the one it came with come on stretchy cheese at least give me something Oh, wow, look. Wow. I'm sure if we put a stopwatch on that, I reckon a stretch for a good one third of a second. Now, I just got the standard pizza, which was with a classic crust. And remember that pizza I had the other day, the three black bears one? Let's see if this crust comes even close to that one. It's not a fan. He's not happy. Look at that. I never realized how bad these crusts were until I had that decent crust the other day. Anyway, let's see how Vegemite this Vegemite is. Hmm. This guy is very mechanical for about this. Look at him. He's like a professional. That's Vegemite, all right. All right. Let's go. That's a huge bite. Oh, my God. I think they're hungry for the, the Vegemite. I just want to know if this pizza, I'll end this after this pizza. I just want to know if it's good. Oh boy. <laughs> that is salty too, just like Vegemite. Now I was wondering if it's just a Vegemite on top or if it's like on the base. Is there even any like base? What's your opinion, pizza? asshole? I want to know. I see if there's like a creme fraiche or a tomato or anything, but I can't see. What anything. is the verdict? But if you've got taste buds in your mouth and you want value for money or at least some sort of effort involved in creating a pizza that tastes half decent with a decent crust, then 
What about the Vegemite? Sure enjoy this. This yeah. dude, this dude eats a Vegemite pizza with the saltiest, most overwhelming topping you could possibly add to any dish ever. And he has zero commentary about the fucking Vegemite. Bro, he did, he ate half of it. He's dissing this pizza and this motherfucker sat down and ate these slices two bites at a time and ate half of it. The other, he, he didn't eat because he put his fingers in it. There's one pizza piece of pizza in this that was not molested. And he doesn't even give me an, a verdict regarding the actual fucking Vegemite. trying to give you a benefit of the doubt but no 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 i'm going to get another one but that's just what a debbie downer this guy is thanks so for watching this clip this is willow i remember so like it subscribe